Rajiv. I don't know whether you know me and I don't know you. But I hope you are all theatre goers if you are not practicing that. I, I hope that you are all theatre. Get concerned with theatre at least. There shall be no audio visuals. There shall be no... Nobody will read out anything. So I don't promise that this will be entertaining. I hope it still becomes interesting. Tough, let me cry. Uh, the title is, is My Art of Playwriting Dying. It's a negative title, uh, but we can begin with the negative title <coughs> and arrive at uh, it, it, it is better to worry about the present than uh, uh, indulge in nostalgia about the past. So, uh, I, 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 and what do we do? I mean, like this, I'm trying to do a bit of theory here, but I'm finding it very difficult because my immediate concerns are completely different from discussion about theatre theory. For example, uh, Ram Ganesh Gadkari who was a playwright, his statue has been toppled day before yesterday and, and, and many things are happening around me. And at this moment really to do some theory. But kya kare? In a revolution, you can't say that first let me have the uh, uh, Arthic Kranti, then the Samajik Kranti, then the Cultural Kranti. You can't wait. You have to, huh? you have to put your hands on so many buttons at the same time and try to push everything. My talk, small talk, would be a, a circle of collages and since there would be many circles in between, it's easy since it's not a very linear thing. Please, uh, you can excuse yourself, you know, which will take a day to the Raja Rabbi. I did active theatres in the 80s and 90s. I wrote my last major play, Sakit uh, Akai Karaisa. Uh, which is still being done in Hindi by Zishan and Sangeeta and it's been de, uh, done in uh, Bangla uh, uh, and Telugu but I've written it when I was 40, I'm 60 now and beach me it play literally a bandage but you know things misfire you know more often than you want them to you know so anyway so when I started in the 80s, when we started, I was utterly disgusted with the boxed realism that we had in Marathi. And uh, I had a feeling, uh, which I shared with many people, that why is theatre trying to do something which maybe literature and films can do better? That is realism. If you want to, if you want to depict realism, maybe, maybe the realistic novel or the strategy try kind of film uh, uh, does it better. Which is not to say that these people were only doing documentaries. Their world views were also being expressed but through an ism called realism which basically tried to show the world as it is. And I was not interested in that at all. So, when I started, it was theater ke liye likhna hai, theater karna hai. <coughs> not, not showing life, a slice of life or anything like that. And so my plays in the beginning, Vandha uh, and Adil Saparva and Nikli Bhavi, were pieces for the theater. 
Now, uh, that theatre magic was was something which was calling me, beckoning me. Slowly, what happened in my plays like uh, Sandha, Chitya Pat, which Sunil did, and Saki Zakai Karaitra, and Bandesh. I, I moved on to something different. Just bear with me for some time, it won't be an autobiography. I, I moved on to something else. Because I thought that I'm not dealing with characters. I thought that what has fascinated me throughout as a reader or a viewer of plays or novels or anything is that I, I need characters. Not Hamlet or Data, but anybody but a character. And I thought that we were doing theatre, interesting theatre, theatre which had magic, theatre which, which was not realistic. But somehow or the other, it was stuck with types rather than characters. It, 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 it was stuck with preconceived sort of ways of looking at things rather than exploration. And I, so for me the journey was, uh, I was always an author in search of characters. Uh, you know. Uh, and, and at least two uh, characters, I mean, to do a play. I mean, I, of course, like Mahabharat, many, if I could, but at least two. But if I, if I couldn't uh, uh, get that, I, I thought I was either preaching something that I already knew or trying to convince somebody about something uh, in a theatrical way. But it had stopped being a prose for me. So my travel work was from type to character, in a way, from group to individual. From a shared uh, something to a personal thing, but which was not necessarily uh, from reporting to autobiography. Yes, I mean, like, what I'm saying is that otherwise, if the personal comes in, people tend to feel that you are saying something only about yourself. I was, even in my later plays, trying to say something about us and not only about myself, but not by using types. And uh, the plays that I did on the Mahabharat, for example, then I, I thought that I was borrowing characters like Duryodhan, you know, but not creating characters. And unless a writer or director or any artist creates characters, he doesn't really express his worldview. You say things uh, which you, 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 you make general statements and you don't arrive at particular. So my problem with it when I went in search of particulars, somehow or the other, people thought that I was moving from interesting theatricality to boring realism. And I, I, I then I thought that I should stop because that was not what I wanted to do at all. From the, if you move from the abstract to the particular, if you talk about one space, it does not mean that you have to show a drawing room or a kitchen. If, if, if you're talking about one person from Girgao in the 60s, your theatre need not be a realistic theatre which tries to I give you a box set of a Girga chart at all. But somehow or the other, I could not convince others or, my, or even myself, maybe with my, my place could not express it, that I was trying to go away from realism but towards a realistic particular. I was trying to go away from the abstract to the particular but not from the theatrical to the uh, realistic. And 
this became too much. The, uh, uh, the, the reason why I stopped writing, and so this is one of the reasons. So the, going back to the title, is my art of playwriting dying can be thought of as an autobiographical my art, but I'm trying to generalize it also. <coughs> now, I think the problem was that a, a playwright uh, also sees and hears his play. Problem is, if he sees and hears it <coughs> totally, then he has to direct. <coughs> I mean, there's no point. I mean, if I, if I see my play completely, what is Samira going to do about it? Then it's my business to direct the play. If I write out everything in my stage directions, then again, I mean, the director will be there to, to sort of execute it. I wanted my director to interpret my play, to have a, to have a touch with me at times, to, to show me something in his production which I had not seen. And yet, my problem was that I did not want him to show me something completely different from what I had seen. And I was lucky enough to get a few directors who, who gave me a surprise when they did my place, but who still, with whom I shared my vision. Now, this is the Problem. If I can be very articulate as a playwright, then I, I become a big bore. I, 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 you know, I, I, I don't give, leave anything for the imagination. And if I become too big, then I become too big. <laughs> and I, 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 I let the director do something else, completely different. And then I say that it's not my play at all. And another thing about playwrights is that people, you have these famous author, uh, director of morals, and the director always tells the author that keep quiet, let me do my production, somebody will read your play or do another production. Nobody does that. Mm -hmm. and, you know, the A production home where to murder. But that the people feel that like this is what the person wrote. <laughs> so there's a myth, you know, that unless you have a given date with the director, you know, nobody, I, I, I try to, you know, tell people, you know, what edit kiya hai, ye mera nahi, ye mera alag hai. I mean, you both are right. There were no cups and saucers in my play. Then it was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, you don't know what to do, uh, 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 because, uh, and this is what the director keeps on saying, that it's my right, and which is his right. You know, I'm not questioning his right. I'm just saying, ki kya locha <laughs> uh, Another thing that I wanted to say, uh, you may say, uh, this thing that they have between literature and performance. Now, I have a feeling that good plays are readable and performative. I cannot think of plays which are good in performance but are bad to read or ulta. And th this again is a uh, people read a play in the wrong way. That is a different thing. People read Ruchapatikam as if they are reading a novel. And they see Vasant Sena uh, getting wet or drenched in the rain. And when I think was like child of time, Vasant Sena to be wet without being wet. I mean, you know, Nakyadhani. So you have, the reader has to be theater competent, he has to have uh, knowledge of certain performance modes within him, so that he does, he reads a play like a play. And yet the director will come and show him a different version of the play than he has read. I'm not saying that readers can, can imagine how and what the director is going to show him. No, 
but I am saying that a reader can read a play as a play and not as a novel or a film. You know? In fact, when I saw Utsav, I, I had read Mr. Katikam so many times and I thought, oh, I mean, what's the mission that really gets wet, you know? So it was a, 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 ulta, a surprise for me because uh, I, I, I'll tell you, uh, uh, we'll come back later to the drama department also. But uh, I'll give you a list of plays which two years back were, were in the course of uh, uh, Marathi Literature Mumbai University. Where they have a form, once they have poetry, once they have novel. When they had drama, these were the plays for the first year. Dashiram Kotwal by Rishi Tindulkar, Mahanirvan by Sati Sharekar, Udhvas Dharmashara by P.L. Fuji Pidesh Pandey, Vata Parvata by Datta Bhagat, and Vada Chirabandi by Mahesh Rikunjo. And the second year, they had Kirwan by Premana Rajvi, Sangha by Rajiv Naik, our thing, Saudya by Chetan Tata, Shobhayatra by uh, Shafat Khan, and Chashi Koti Bishar Bhai by I think all these plays can be read and are extremely performative. See, some are realistic, some are not realistic, but that is besides the point. And, and they are extremely good theatre. I am going to call them extremely good literature because that, I think, you know, the flower. But what it can you say that uh, uh, this, this thing that barrier that we have in mind about some plays being literature and some plays being... I think good plays tend to be performable as well as... Did you read your Beckett and your Anisco and your... <coughs> I have read many plays and I have seen. And of course there are boring plays, but they are boring plays because they are not they, they, they are boring to read because they are not good theatre. I mean, there might be difficult plays, difficult to imagine, like Shunya Bajiram and whatever. But, uh, uh, you know, this is, this is a, a, a very important thing that this distinction or this divide between literature and uh, theatre is something which one has to reach it. Uh, uh, in the first half, uh, let me talk something about the uh, drama departments. In the universities, how teaching began. Teaching of drama began in literature departments and as a part of literature. Where I don't know, they had their Aristotle, they had their Bharat Puni, but I don't know why they did not respect the performing tradition at all. It is the it is the people who taught literature who has done all this mess. And are not the place themselves. They taught it in a, in, in a certain fashion and they taught only plot character diction and they just about they did uh, think about diction as a spoken word and sound and spectacle. The things which are there in the uh, Greek as well as the Indian characters. Bharat Nandipal is casting in Arthur Park and does take you to the uh, uh, performance. So, uh, uh, then of course we had uh, 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 drama departments, uh, you know, not as part of uh, literature department, but as drama, you know, where text, drama, dramatic texts were learned. Then you had theatre studies departments like in Mumbai and Pune and the NSD and so on. But now, you have the performance studies departments where they don't study texts at all. So, uh, this has been, I don't know, a change in, in the education system and I don't know, somehow, more the material was okay. But now they are shunning scripts and that is again a problem that the playwriting and, and study of plays is going out from this system itself. <coughs> and when uh, uh, Aparna 
and Theta Magic had this, these sessions of uh, readings, I feel like Khamilkar and Tendulkar and all these people are important. I want those people around. And uh, I want directors as well, but then I don't know what is what, what, what is uh, happening. Uh, why we are not studying scripts? Okay. And uh, then the uh, last point here in the first half is what are playwrights, good playwrights in Marathi doing? Jayan Pawar, which was a, who was a promising playwright, has started writing short stories and brilliant short stories, which are being enacted now. Oh. <laughs> uh, Shafat Khan has, has written two films. Uh, Dharmakirti uh, is writing films. Manasmini Lata Ravindra has gone to fiction. Two of her short story uh, collections are out. Uh, uh, Makrin Sathya has written three novels, one after the other. He has written a play as well, uh, uh, again, which he, he, he works a lot with borrowed characters as I say, and Ashad Baro also does that. But then, these were the playwrights around me of my generation who were writing good plays or bad plays, but they were writing plays. Why are they going to films and literature? I love my films and I love literature, but why are these people doing this? Of course you have the practical reasons. Television, no groups, you know, actors are available to, for television and film. You tell any actor that you are doing a film and he is available. You tell him that you are doing a play and you want him for three months of years, he won't be there. Huh? Uh, 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 spaces are not there. Performing spaces are not there. Uh, rehearsal spaces are not there. Uh, some of the other people have been, you know, Gushjate ki si ghar mein pad lete hai of the rears the dialogues on a terrace or what they manage somehow but they are strugglers and they are survivors but still it has film with the digital thing and the handicams and whatever it has become easier to do film than theatre I'm not talking about good theatre and good films I'm talking making a Maybe a bad film is making a bad film easier than putting up a bad play. I, I mean, the sheer, sheer, uh, you know, practical kind of thing. I, I, that that can be uh, the thing. Moreover, it's also a question of what you have brought up on. Now we've got got the film festivals, this, that, and the other. Film is in the air. Film is with you in your uh, home. Uh, there are so many film appreciation courses. It's difficult to have theatre appreciation courses because you don't have performances. They, they, you, don't have, you can't have live performances. And you have to show a, a, a recorded thing of Nashiram Kodwal, which is not Nashiram Kodwal really speaking. And, and, and so uh, people are more acquainted. People know their Bergman and their Anurag Kashyap rather than their uh, Shudra and whoever is here, I don't know. So, Jada Vakif hai. There is more cinema maybe around you today. I'm not saying it's good or bad, I'm saying it's there. So, people are interested in Mami and Piff and this and that uh, as we were interested in Prithu Festival. I, I, this uh, really, I didn't go to the picture myself. I mean, I'm blaming myself. I'm not interested enough myself. Why? I have good at Rashtra Film Festival. Why is this happening? Or it, is it that simple answer that the 21st century is the age of cinema? I 
नाटक किया था और एटलीस्ट नाटक स्क्रिप्टेड डायरेक्टर किया था दिस इज़ द क्वेश्चन दैट वे आर आस एंड सो मेरा एक आवर तक खत्म हो रहा है फिर भी वो आज भी और आई चैटिंग टू मूव ऑन एंड हैव दिस हेड यस इट्स इजी इजीर देन इजीर Maybe this is because I have a very bad throat. I had this watch, but I forgot to, or I know, check it when I started. So, huh? Anyway. So, so the point is, what, what does the playwright do? Why do you need it? I mean, is it? I mean, if it's a baggage, one thing baggage, I mean, it's better than you. I mean, if you can do fantastic theatre without this guy, you know, there's no point in, you know, you know, kya phaila hai? You know, when when our group used to travel to some festivals, you know, they used to make a list, and the first name that used to be stuck off was my name. You know, wondering how that. I usually try to be some help, you know, sell tickets and help. I mean, I mean, I mean, the most things that you know, the showbiz actor, I'm the first person to go get dropped from the film. What is it? What is it? Oh, I mean, that's what I do. क्या है उसका फायदा क्या है इन्हें नहीं चीज़ बेड वोइंग शेक्स पे बेड इज़ नॉट अराउंड आई वी डोंट हैव टू प्लीज़ इन वी डोंट हैव टू फाइट विद इन इट्स फंटास्टिक टू वर्क विद अ डेड ऑफ़ आई यूसी आई नो इट्स रोड में रोड पे ना बहुत आसान होता है इन्हें कुछ वर्क वर्क हाँ इधर पूरा दिन मेहनत करके नाटक करो रात को उसको दारू पिलाओ और उसको सजाओ तो मैं सब कुछ कराओ सो इफ 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 एन अन इम्पोर्टेंट पर्सन यू बेटर ड्रॉप इट सो यू हैव यू हैव दिस एंटायर ब्रिलियन फोक ट्रेडिशन ऑफ इंडिया व्हिच इन नॉट हैव It was a vibrant theatre. It was fantastic theatre. It was great, and this guy was not there. He was just not there. And and his work was very good. And in fact, they they were always better than us, you know, uh, in, in many ways. Uh, uh, so when when did people start writing plays? I I I, I think the performance came before a scripted play. There must be performances before. There must be a, a, a way of telling stories, or some enactments, or some form of mimicry, some song, dance, enjoyment of life before somebody wrote it down. I mean, or perhaps it will not be written. You know, maybe the script also was not there when the performance was there. But then why, why, why did this person, why did people start writing if it was so unimportant? If if there was this great folk tradition, why did somebody write Mudra Rakshas? You had all these Greek myths, so why write Iliad or Odysseus or however it is pronounced? Why write that? Why, why, why was Sophocles needed? My understanding is that what happened to me, this is a bit of glorification, please excuse me, what happened to me must have happened to everybody. Like, no, 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 just a minute. What I'm trying to say is that the share was there. What the Greeks were feeling was there. 
whenever a dashavatar is put up, you know, everybody knows the story, and, and then it's a way of rendering which becomes important as it becomes important in other classical music and classical dance. अभी कृष्णा रानक का क्या है वो मरने दो बट नोबडी इज रियली इंटरेस्टेड पीपल आर इंटरेस्टेड इन हाउ राजा करते हैं वो ये लगाते हैं वो नहीं लगाते हैं वो क्या है उनके फूल गर्ल इंटरेस्टेड तो बेश उससे मैं गाते हूँ ना देते सो द हाउ समाउ बिकम फॉर इंपोर्टेंट इफ यू हैव अ शेयर व about the cosmos, about your society. If you know how to behave in society, what to do, what not to do, if that is there, you have your religion, you do have your political belief, if, and presuming that they had been in the tribal or prehistoric society, then they had performances, expression of an individual was not necessary. उसका विसर्जन हो जाता था उस वो 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 मायने नहीं रखता था because it was the society the group that was important even now it is even now an individual yet some in a morcha so that you have equality of sorts see even now when an individual says something he says something for the group, he says something which is true of everybody. Shakespeare writes a Othello because there's a Othello in everybody. He he writes writes it for the betterment of everybody. He has his own voice, but ultimately he wants his voice to be one with the voice of the society, or he wants the society to be with him. Amar Sheikh says something and he believes that the crowd should accept what he says. Or there is something which the crowd or society already believes in and then I enact something out of that corpus. So I believe that playwriting must have started. Mahabharata put the Mahabharata folk, there was a folk tradition of the Mahabharata put. We have so many Mahabharats in, uh, in India. We have so many Ramayans. Now, Vyasa's view becomes important because it is Vyasa's view. See, there are no Vaishyas and Shudras in the Mahabharata. There are only Brahmas. I love Mahabharata, <coughs> but there are no Vaishyas and Shudras in the Mahabharata. I mean, there are Kirats and Nagas who are Rakshasas who are supposed to be enemies. But, I mean, it's completely Brahmanical. It's not even Brahmanical. It's that Priyaryan, uh, Brahmanical Kshatriya thing. But, uh, the other, other people are villains or outsiders. And so Mahabharata becomes important. You can fight with the Mahabharata also. Because it's there. It's that the folk tradition is spread out and it says what the group believes in. So you can you can be against the Mahabharata. It is difficult to be against a Tamasha or a Dashavatar. It is and Kirai also ultimately is trying to you know convert people or immerse in society but with his worldview, with his voice. Uh, I hope I'm making myself clear. This is the folk tradition and the folk tradition is vibrant. But it is not it, it is not revolutionary. Now Tamasha has great elements. If you hear Sambhaji uh, or if you hear anybody, a Loksha here, but now they are doing something else. They are not in the folk tradition. They are in and out of it at the same time. Because if you are in it, then they everything, you know, in a tamasha, 
ਦੀ ਰਾਜਾ ਇੱਕ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਰਾਜਾ ਐਂ ਦੇ ਰਾਣੀ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਦੀ ਹਵਾਲਦਾਰ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਐਂਡ ਬਟ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਪਨਸ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਦੀ ਹਵਾਲਦਾਰ ਗੈਟ ਮੈਰਿਡ ਟੂ ਮਾਈਨਾ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਬੀ ਗੈਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਮੋਟਡ ਬਟ ਦੀ ਰਾਜਾ ਰਿਮੇਨਸ ਯਾ ਐਂਡ ਦਿਸ ਮੋਰ ਰੈਵੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ you see uh, uh, in the shot and the it's very interesting can i say that no comedy do uh in the the shot for example you have this um uh, this uh um uh, shankasu who steals the vedas uh from the sutras huh? because he thinks you know I, i want to have knowledge and it's a very funny episode where he comes and returns the vedas and says the bakwas hai isme kuch hai kya hai why did i steal it in the so there is a lot of philosophy but still the system is not changed still there is arti in the end you know it is <coughs> and may i say this that in this way the folk tradition can be dangerous it 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 tends to be reactionary it tends to be regressive in some way or the it is full of theater and and that is a becomes a big can become a big problem unless you use it the way lokshayas are using it or the way rashtriya kirtan was used or the way gadge baba uh even the folk tradition it had a ramlila and hanuman and but it's great fun but if you don't go harvadla nahi and aat bagitla nahi then it becomes a bit difficult you know if you swallow then you swallow god then you swallow patikata then you swallow so many things if you are a hardened believer in folk traditions then you become a for me a regressive person they they are non modern values in a way they uh huh post that it but am i am i yeah. uh, huh? so uh, uh so i love the folk tradition but i think there's an importance of the playwright or of the lonely voice which doesn't him should not remain a lonely voice in the end it should not i'm not claiming or saying that the individual voice is important because it is something that you can at least attack the as i cannot attack the dashavata you see in a in the way i can attack das i can question das i think about of the fine which try to question so many characters question das oh i did you do this why did you ha ek lag hai jab ek fight with das in front and so forth uh you can't do it with the folk tradition or uh, no uh, it's it's human through uh, this is young students of kathak and bharatnatyam doing the ashtanai guys they know she when i come who is yak her partner or i i i or uh, who says that they you have in the gata sapteshati uh uh they 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 she says that uh, my partner was getting so bored and i i i suggested a different position and he doubted me <laughs> you know but but in the classical tradition or in the folk tradition proper uh, uh it is difficult to have you don't have a divorce uh, what what does a girl doing kathak in the 21st century do either you have to increase your night guys or i mean you to so you can fight you have to fight to with them you can fight you can fight with the mob yeah everybody but if you are there i can fight somebody has fought with you you are right 
something on their nose. That, <laughs> I, I think yeah, I can catch hold of Palmi. I cannot, it's difficult to catch hold of a tradition. And so individual voices become important and so playwrights become important. Hey. <laughs> but then, if they forget and they tend to forget that they are part of a group, they are part of society, they belong somewhere, they are doing something for somebody, they are doing something with somebody. So, this thing that the playwright is, and it's different from uh, somebody who's writing a novel, that you, you have to be lonely and you have to be a part of it. That thing is very important because that introspective quality doesn't come unless you go into a shell. But when you're going into a shell, it should be a temporary shell and not an ivory tower. And so that, that, that moment to yourself, thinking about things and then going back to people, that, that, that thing that the writer writing something and going back to the director the next day and seeing the hikes in Ankin Leela and they, you know that, that, that flash, that tension, uh, things happening. So, uh, you know, uh, what happens with non-scripted plays or non-dramatic theatre? Uh, uh, whatever it is called, uh, post dramatic theatre, whatever it is called, device. device. <coughs> See, device. I I don't like the word. Uh, uh, <laughs> but, you know, in the in the, in the name itself, it's a uh, But uh, there again, you have. Now, this is a major point that I want to make. There you have an ideology. You don't have a word. Now this is something. Then you have again something that a group might agree on. For example, if you say Badal Babu's Shatabdi. But you can't have Dharmaki if this pun. Then you have two voices in the same pun. Uh, somebody should do pun in Hindi. It's about uh, the Narmada. Uh, it's about an activist and somebody else uh, from uh, the uh, movement but who's criticizing the movement. So you've got both are from the movement, uh, from a rather progressive movement. It's something to do with the anti big dam uh, Narmada movement. But then you don't have this issue, I can't believe. See, I mean, like, if you are a Marxist, you need a new Marxist as well. See, I mean like, uh, I, uh, 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 I for example, uh, now I have written a big piece on Uruguay Siddhar Bajara. I read it and try to read it. And uh, my, uh, I, 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 I am left of center in any case. I, 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 uh, but I believe in freedom of expression. Uh, 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 and so I've written about uh, uh, Sri Shulak that he deeply tried to portray somebody who believes in the freedom of expression, so he is not a member of the party. He wants to call himself a communist. He's a Marxist, but I mean, not maybe a communist or whatever. And that entire dilemma. You see, if you are from Baden Babu's group, you can't write a Udvastha You need a GPD to write Udvastha Zarvashara, that is the point that I was trying to make. Where, where individualizing uh, social problems does not mean resolving social problems at all. It means pinpointing particularizing uh, social problems. Otherwise what happens is you tend to end up with uh, something like Sakya Shizari would say now she said parents pay. Where you you have a review 
kind of thing. You have, you have agreed upon ideology. And let's do a play on a social problem and everybody, everybody uh, believes in that and then you've got something, there is no journey because you are already there and then you start preaching. You don't have fights. I don't understand how can you have theatre without any worries and fights and it can be the most boring theatre. And if something is agreed upon totally in its entirety by everybody from the group, and now let's come and then what remains is improvisations and building up a scene. But without the internal cross forces which would enliven it. So I'm trying to make a distinction between ideology and worldview. And I'm saying that worldviews are important and you cannot immerse them in ideologies. And for that group theatre, you need group theatre. You need a uh, let's see there's a there's a space of every kind of theatre on earth. I I believe in democracy and I, I I, I, I think that, but I'm just worried whether one kind of theatre somehow is going away, you know. Uh, uh, um, the thing is, a particular kind of theatrical experience can be become very sensuous. I'm afraid that it becomes unintellectual. This is again a point. A playwright uses words, but he also sees and hears. He has a vision and he has a voice. But a vision and a voice should not come down to sight and sound. This, I think, is very important. Drushya Shavya kehte kehte hum darshan na bhul jai. And so, I, 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 uh, uh, may I repeat this point, that a playwright has vision and sounds which uh, avoid which cannot be equated with sight and sound. So, drushya shravya to zarur hai, sensuous to zarur hai, but uh, 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 it's not only that. Otherwise, it tends to be sensuous and entertaining and theatre magic without being intellectual. And I don't know, at least in Maharashtra these days, there is a tendency of being unintellectual. They, they, you know, doing it, experiencing it in flesh and blood. I, I, of course this is important, but this doesn't mean that somehow thought has to go away. And by thought, I do not mean preconceived thought. Let your thought pre-thought ho jata hai. So if that should not happen, if even thought should be a process and thought should have ears and eyes and skin and flesh. I'm not saying that thought should remain there in the book. That is something which I'm terribly against. But if the pendulum goes this way, then maybe I've seen certain productions which are <coughs> which are smoke and you know, gulal vagara. So I don't mind, you can have smoke, gulal or whatever. But then somehow you dhol bajate hai, koi pani dal deta hai, koi 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 You do all that. I, I, I don't mind. I, it's embarrassing to a certain extent. It, it is. But then after three or four such production that I've seen, mujhe samaj me nahi aara ki kya ho raha hai. What if the dramatic experience has to be something which is all this but is something more as well? 
and that's something new does not necessarily mean verbal theatre or words. It, 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 it is different. So we are very happy to put it here or put it there when it lies in between or in the tension, not in between either, in the tension of everything. Otherwise, what happens is that, of course, dance and music and everything is a part of theatre, right from you know, the Greeks and the folk tradition to the Sanskrit thing. Yes, it can stay with them. But at times, you feel that like you're you're watching a dance performance and not theatre at all. Or Abhi, uh, there are five drummers uh, sitting and the light on one drummer and the light on another drummer and, and then, I mean fantastic, I have a ball, I, I, I have a great one and a half hour, but then what do I do? I mean, I know I, 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 I can't extend the uh, 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 gamut of theatre, the realm of theatre my conception of theatre, it can go on increasing. Uh, but then, to what extent? Uh, uh, where do I go? Then what do dancers do? What, what should they do? I mean, if we are dancing, I mean, we should dance. But if we are, if I am, you know, giving you <coughs> almost a dance performance, in the name of theatre, we can entitle to everybody is allowed to do anything on this earth, you know. Unless, unless he, 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 no violence and no, you shouldn't harm anybody. But then that's okay. But then my question is, then, why, why not call it dance? I don't know, have an idea of an art or you visarjan kar do us art ka and go on to something else go on to life, go, you dance and you, 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 I, I have 100 uh, 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 violin uh, players in some, if I shoot them or if I make a uh, life, uh, of course it's going to be theatrical. But is the theatrical theatre? Is that the only criteria? Theatre has to be theatrical. There is no question about that. Theatre cannot afford to be a novel or a poem or a piece of literature. And now, what, what is happening is people are trying to do poetry. Mohit is trying to do personal essays of Mahesh in theatre, as theatre. But Shanta's play, nobody is doing. I mean, if Shanta. Maybe somebody would do a play on Rita Belinka tomorrow. And we are searching for performable things outside script pet theatre. We're going to poetry, we're going to novelettes, we're going to short stories. There's a guy called Bharat Sasi and he used to write uh, uh, one acts. And then nobody did his one acts and he started writing short stories. And now everybody in every competition who have a uh, one act based on Bharat Sasha's shot. So, this is my uh, second point. That if you have different arts and if theatre is a composite art, when does it not be a composite art but be that art itself? If it has, is a composite art, then it has to have all these tensions of all these arts coming together and becoming theatre which cannot be defined. Maybe. But, you know, so uh, that is another thing. I, I won't go into much theory. I would uh, go to two more points in the end. One is we, we have the outer theory in cinema. The director would feel, you know, maybe miserable at the same time if he's not saying something which he wants to say. So everybody from Bergman to Satyajit Rai to they have written their own screenplays. Dialogues might be written by somebody else, but they wanted to how they conceive the film. They, they are there in the screenplay, somewhere there, right from Raj Kapoor and K.F. Bas's partnership to whatever. So I can understand this, this, this has to be there. But now, as in the folk tradition, there was no playwright and there was no director. Now the actor is saying 
In any case, I was very used, my voice and body was used by these playwrights and directors. I don't want the playwright and I don't want the director. And so we are having <coughs> acting solos. And we had a solo competition in Pune where there were 20 people, actors trying to find their own voices. Through their own voice and bodies, they write ko to dafnai diya, director bhi nahi chahiye. Let me, in any case, if I was a puppet, let me not be a puppet at all, let me cut off these strings and speak out for myself. Mere mastishk me cha, kya chal raha hai, mere riday me kya chal raha hai, mein khudi bol do, mere shadi se. Why, why? Yes, so you have been acting solos on the one hand, and the other hand, you are scenography. Where, certain like designers are saying that everything is, if this is my medium, then let me express through this. And so you have those gigantic scenographies if you go to your YouTube. So all this, of course, is theatre. But when you are saying that theatre is ABCD, EFG, Somehow, wo ABCD mein theater gum ho gaya kya? Of course, theater is all this. But when you are saying that it's all this, I mean, where is theater? Theater should be in each of this or in the coming together of all this. Is it disappearing? Are they having ABCD instead of theater? And is a script going to help you? to avoid this. I, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, one more thing. Many playwrights have become directors. Achut Vase, Satish Aikadu, these were playwright directors. But some people who were not directors have started directing their plays at Shafat Khan and Makhrin Sati. But in Marathi at least there are more directors who have started writing plays. Why? One person was there called Satyadev Dubey, but it was a pain here. I mean, like, I, 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 I mean, I, like, uh, uh, <coughs> we had to shut up almost, uh, say, please, please don't write it. I am surprised that Vijay Mehta, Ramu Tekre, Vijay Tekre, Chandrakant Tekre, Sunil. I mean, I am surprised if playwrights want to be a director at some point, why don't directors want to be I don't know, but it's not happening. I don't know. The Marathi is not happening. Why? They know the craft. They are such, they know theatre. I don't think you can know that theatre. Most of the time, much more than the playwright or the actor. But they are not the right. They get it written. That's different. Because then there's no commitment. This is the one thing about device theatre or you know group theatre or whatever. This commitment, this is, I've said this and I, I, I own this. In a group scenario what happens is, you know, a divided responsibility becomes nobody's responsibility. We have done it. We have done it. We have done it. But we have done it. So, you know, if something happens, if mob psychology takes over, then I, I miss, I, what I'm trying to say is I miss the individual life. And, and, and I miss the quarrels between the playwright and the director, between the director and going back and that, that entire thing. And some, when some director says that I have a concept, you know, a, a film director, huh? now I have, I, you know, Clive, Clive, Robert Clive, or whoever he was, <coughs> Clive, came here as a writer of the East India Company, you know. So we have writers today, you know, who write for others. And this is weird, but this is happening. So I am a film director and I have a concept and I appoint writers. I all the time believe that writers had something, uh, uh, you know, 
I could come from inside and you know expression and all that. No, 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 no. Because you can write, I mean physically write, you know, or type, then you become a writer. I have the concept. And you so the idea of the sutra that either it is the playwright, see what is a playwright? Playwright. I have not used the word. W-R-I-G-H-T, right? In playwright. Is a shipwright, a house right, is a maker. Maker. Is Natya Karta. So that, that, that sense of making theatre. So, Nat Kaun Hota Hai Sadar Karta. Natya Kaun Hota Hai Natya Karta. So he is the maker or he is the Kavi. You know, and if he is a Kavi, he is the Pratish Shrishti Nirman Karnevala. So he was glorified and I want to destroy that myth altogether. But see, that now has the director, is the director feeling that he is not the Karta? Because many people say that I want the playwright somewhere in the room. I mean, what is the use of a playwright somewhere in the room if it's not on the table, I don't understand. I mean, they don't kick him off. Kick him off, yeah. Kick him off. Don't appoint writers. I mean, just... They don't want to do that. They want to do that. And they don't want to do that. What is this, Mahajra? This is this, 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 this ambivalence about the whole thing. So, so... Or is it the case that people have stopped writing good plays? Have people, have, are people not writing plays which can... Uh, excite directors. Is it as simple as that? Maybe. Maybe. But I have, I have a play written which I don't know. But I I'm, I'm afraid. Like, I'm just afraid that nobody will, will do it. Or I'm afraid somebody will do it. I, I, I make his own play. But then it will not remain my play. See, if somebody makes a play, his own play, the director cannot do without doing that. But then if it doesn't remain my play, to to kya fayda hai? It should be our play. So ye 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 problem hai. So uh, um, and then uh, the very last thing is uh, uh, let us see quickly what some of the playwrights around us are doing. For example, this guy called Nassim. Suleiman Poor from Iran, who's written a play called White Rabbit, Red Rabbit. He doesn't have a director. He's not allowed to go outside Iran, and people all over the world are performing the play. Atul Gede, Mukta Gede. I told you, no director. The actor gets the script, uh, uh, you know, some two hours before the show. So now, as the director is trying to eliminate playwrights, the playwrights are trying to eliminate the director. <laughs> <laughs> why do I need you? I need the actor. Hello, please. So, you know, you were just trying to help us out. Here, kya tha, it was between me and the actor, you were just the helper. I don't know what I'm saying that no, yaar, wo karta wala ha gaya. So let me do without you. So I, and the actor whom I don't know. And maybe he, that this guy has a very strong voice because he's not seen. He asks his, a chair for him in the first row, but he cannot go out of it. And now he's seen one of his performances. Another person, my friend, Chandrasekhar Fansharman, he has written a, Play called a play, maybe a play called Acha Popat Vadlai, and it's a big monologue which he goes out and reads. So again, it's a monologue; it's not in dialogue form, and he goes out and reads it out to people. So again, he grew director, actor, the playwright is trying to be his own actor. Okay? 
you've got another uh, guy called Dharmakir Ishuman who has written a play and people have been doing it, but he calls the play Bin Tamate Samad. <coughs> Useless dialogue. And they are a series of monologues, no dialogues. And people, every actor comes and gives a big monologue, but there is no transaction on scale. Again, a way of trying to establish some direct uh, uh, contact. Uh, this guy has written a play which I am afraid even to read out because it is, it is uh, uh, because all my characters are borrowed characters from uh, plays of different playwrights around me and they uh, say monologues which those people have not written <laughs> for them. I mean, I have a character from Shabi's play and Chetan's play and Mahesh's play and Sadish's play. But I have written one of the things. But I am very afraid because I am unable to write a monologue from a character who has come out of my play and when I, when I write that monologue, I read out the play. Uh, uh, so this should be it. Uh, so, well, so, so my, my art is dying. I, 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 people, people keep on writing. People write so many plays. If you go to Shivaji Mandir, there are so many plays. And every competition has so many entries. People write plays. So, so even the people will keep on uh, writing plays. But somehow this entire thing of the playwright and the director, for, uh, in, the, in the beginning, the playwright was lonely, much revered, respected, but lonely, and we are tally masters. And now we've got something which, well, where is this great theatre picnic which we all uh, used to do together? Uh, is there no point? Are we going on individual journeys and becoming very lonely? Or are we becoming so social? that we are losing our individual voices. What is exactly happening? Uh, for me, theatre is a circle which does not have a centre and does not have a certain balance. So, there is no beginning and there cannot be an end to my talk, but what is the hour from Mumbai to my Thank you. Do we have any questions for Dr. Rajiv Nair?
I'm not advocating a particular kind of thing. I'm not happy to have stopped writing. Uh, I, I, I do miss my quarrels, but, uh, but that's, that's all. I mean, like, तभी भी कम लोग आते थे अब भी कम लोग आते हैं अभी भी स्पेस ढूंढनी पड़ती है अभी भी यू डोंट हैव फाइन्स सो आई थिंक ये तो मे बी द फाइन ऑफ थे बहुत मुश्किल होता है थिएटर करना इसी में शायद उसका पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू थे आई आई थिंक आई जस्ट वॉइस माई कन्फ्यूजन्स Since, since you brought up this thing about you know um, what is the directors get plays written, okay, and you threw a glance in my direction. Um, uh, just want to clarify from a purely personal point of view. Uh, I, I grew up in the tradition of the playwright writing a play, because you know that. When we did our theatre, early theatre, we we were very closely associated with the Marathi theatre movement, where the playwright has always been a very powerful force. Even today, despite everything else that has happened, that has not changed in the Marathi theatre. But the playwright still is a very powerful force, and as we have discussed, many of the shifts that have taken place in Marathi theatre have been initiated, at least, by the playwright, by a playwright or several playwrights. Uh, so I grew up in that, where where you picked up a play that you enjoyed. You felt it. You could speak through that particular play. Something that you found that commonality that you you, you thought that the play could allow you to express what you felt as a director. I always like to believe that I didn't illustrate plays. I tried to give something of myself to every production. Right. So either me or us as a group as actors, we try to make the play our own, but in a positive way. I've never had a playwright come and beat me up because it was not part of the vision, etc. but at some point <coughs> i felt that i i got tired of the ready made script right with some of those presenting to me maybe it was because the variety of ideas that were being presented were not exciting enough maybe i was thinking about something different a kind of view of theater that was different because of the particularities of my own background etc so i felt that why cannot i collaborate with a writer all right and maybe present the seed the germ of an idea and find somebody who get excited by it and hopefully get a sense of ownership i do know that most of the writers who have actually written a play that i have kind of suggested as an idea do have some reservations about full ownership they may not all admit it because many of them have been very successful so you know it doesn't work yeah. but i know that deep down they don't have the same kind of ownership and it's not to do because they haven't been given credit for it in my place the writer always gets top billing and then i come second because i'm aware of what a writer can bring to a project and it's amazing all the writers who i worked with have surprised me with the kind of things that they have brought which i wouldn't even have dreamt of but that is why they were chosen in the first place because one new instinct is that they can do that kind of thing Uh, so it's a very difficult question to answer. You know, it's a very difficult question to answer. I mean, a playwright has to let go of the play. That's the only way to get yeah. done. Yeah. I've had playwrights who refuse to let go, and then I've said, "No, I do not want to work with you because this is too claustrophobic for me." Right? Uh, and yet, as you said, having let go, you always worry about what's going to happen to yeah. him. So it's a very difficult thing. I think you really have to have tremendous trust. and faith with the other person only then you should get into a partnership like this so it's not really like you know i can give you so much royalty give me your play i don't think it should end there i think it should go much beyond that yeah. and i i i must tell you that i gave you a glance uh uh one more time when i said that i get it yes i know <laughs> and i got very strongly <laughs> <laughs> I got that hint very strong. <laughs> no, I just like to share what happened with Sanda. Okay, I mean for those who don't know, so Raju wrote a play called Sanda, which in Marathi means joint, right? Yeah. They they joint between two things, Sanda, and it was very interesting. I'm, I was surprised that he put it in the category of his later plays because actually what the play did was it's a very theatrical idea. You have five characters in the play, types. 
teacher, uh, sorry, hero, teacher, hero's friend, girlfriend, mother. Right? And each, and it's in two acts, each act has five scenes. Alright? So where the hero interacts with these different characters. Right? And the play begins with the Sudhada saying that we are going to perform a tragedy. And he explains what the, what the Greek definition of tragedy is. That you have a flawed hero, a hero with a flaw, a fat, fatal flaw, right? Othello had jealousy, Macbeth had vaulting ambition, etc, etc. And he sets off on a search to find an actor who can play the tragic hero. So along comes an out of work actor and says, I am made for tragic hero. Okay, so you cast me. So this guy is finding Sutra and says, okay, you are the tragic hero. And he sends one by one these five characters to him and this guy has to react to them. Of course, a scripted play, but they have scenes. And the idea is to be a tragic play. But the hero is such a loser and he has such a false sense of the world that the world is against him that actually by the end of Act 1, the audience is rolling with laughter <coughs> at this young man's foolishness. Okay. So the Sukhada comes and stops the play and says, but this is not a tragedy. Everybody is bloody laughing. This is so, okay. Go away. He throws them out. After the interview, says, see, these guys are better suited to comedy, so I'm going to send the same character, but this time we'll do a comedy. And by the end of it, the audience is weeping because it's so tragic. His, 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 how he deceives himself that everything is funny and okay in the world. And actually, it's terribly sad. He's a lonely, dysfunctional, you know, unable to have relationships, you know. So here is an example of actually a play where there are types. But maybe it's a transition play. There are types. There are types. But they very quickly touch you with a certain particularity and a universality. It's a very interesting play. So when this was first read out at a, at a writer's workshop that Dubey had organized, and Sanda had just dialogue, had no stage directions, it had no names for characters, nothing. It was Rajiv read it, and everybody, there was silence, and then everybody said, hmm. This is not a play, this is a radio play. <laughs> you remember? Yeah. This is a radio play. So Dubey threw a challenge there. And he says, there are a few directors in this room. Do you guys believe that this is a piece of theatre? And not a piece meant for a microphone. Right? It's a big difference, right? So two of us took up the challenge and we said, no, we see a theatre piece in it. Ajit Bure, who then went on to do a production in Marathi and I, production Hindi. Almost simultaneously. I think mine opened just maybe a month before his opened. So they were the same play being done purely to prove a point that it was a stageable play. <coughs> Apart from the fact that it allows tells you that at that time there was this kind of space in the theater where you didn't have to worry about you did it because you were trying to prove a point and a good point, not a not an you know, egoistic point, right? So it's a very interesting actually moment in theater when this happens. And they were totally different productions. Very different in approach, right? Completely no, different. Fun, but they write we have two productions going on. And now it is difficult to get one. <laughs> no, and two productions simultaneous. Simultaneous. That is sir. No, it was very nice. I especially like your observations about the Dvasta Dharmasha. Because today only I read that the CPM heard some your conclave in a poster, okay? And I felt like very <laughs> nice. It's depressing. So we did another play, I think, of Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Any further? Anything else? Any more questions? No, I just wanted to know. Uh, yes. this is, I mean, weren't you ever tempted to direct a play, sir? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, see, it is, it is a great problem to convince a director what you are trying to do. I am trying to convince. Ten people what you have to do. <laughs> and, and, and the director is ready to work and you know, actors who are, I'm sorry, but quite lazy and refuse. I mean it would be it would have it was an impossible thing. Though I'm good at convincing people but not actors. <laughs> Chetan first said it Chandrapucha Damla he came to me that you direct, you do not retain the play but you direct. I said, he said, I will uh, uh, obey everything. <laughs> Thank you for tolerating.